And I know for a fact that when we had Operation Desert Storm in Baghdad, Iraq, the first life, the first casualty that was taken was in fact an immigrant. It was an immigrant from Central America. It was an undocumented immigrant to be very specific. First casualty, Operation Desert Storm. A kid who came up here, crossed several borders from Guatemala, ended up in Papoima, San Fernando Valley, who lost his life as the first casualty. And we have so many men and women today that are in Tijuana, who have served in the armed forces proudly and with great distinction and dignity, who because of their lack of citizenship and naturalization are on the other side of the border waiting to come back home because this is the only home that they know. And it is the U.S. military, whether it's the U.S. Marine Corps, the Army, Air Force, or the Navy, that have given them, given them that pathway. So we owe it to them as well. We owe it to them. We owe it to all the unhoused veterans living on our streets today in one of the wealthiest cities, clearly in the wealthiest state, in the wealthiest nation of planet Earth, that is the great United States of America. Uh, of Iraq and Afghanistan war veterans who need services and resources uh, more so than ever before. It is why we need to make sure that our veterans have health care services and are provided with ample employment opportunities and have access to affordable housing. I don't know what to think of our society having grown up in this community when I see veterans living on the streets and I think what happened to the fabric and the moral fiber of our society that allowed for that to happen. And so now that I have this immense uh, responsibility and privilege to serve, I take that very seriously. And what, what it is that we can all do together to ensure that our unhoused population has housing, has healthcare, has access to mental health, and that we, at the end of the day, prioritize 